Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending upon your location. Welcome to this webinar on HQ Plus Smart MCCBs. It's the latest uh, product offering from Hager Group. My name is Asad Sharif. I will be your presenter for today. And I have with me my colleague, uh, Heba, who will be the host and uh, moderator for this session. Uh, I would like to invite Heba to say hello. Heba. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing uh, good and safe. Uh, today, today, I will be your moderator for this webinar. So if you have any question during the session, please feel free to uh, use the chat box. And I will collect it and publish it by the end of the session to Assad so he can answer to all of your questions. So enjoy the webinar and the floor is yours, Assad. Thank you, Heba. So a little bit of information on uh, today's uh, webinar before we get started. Uh, it's only on listening mode, so your mics are mute. Um, I will have a presentation for uh, 30 minutes. It will be then followed by a question and answer session for 15 minutes. So if you have any questions, any concerns, you can enter them in the chat box and uh, Heba will assist you with any problems that you have during the webinar. So uh, let's begin with the uh, session. So our topic for today is HQ plus smart MCCBs. Uh, so MCCBs which you can use to monitor your energy consumption. So I will quickly discuss the agenda I have for today. I will begin with uh, discussing smart protection devices and how smart protection devices are supporting energy efficiency applications in today's scenario. We will then discuss the benefits of the product. So depending upon your uh, segment, whether you are a panel builder, contractor, consultant, or a client developer, there are several benefits from this product for you. We will then discuss the range. We will see the frame sizes, the ratings, the braking capacities. We will go a little bit more in depth in the technical characteristics where we will discuss the different type of trip units that are available, the settings which you can do on the product. Then we will discuss the accessories. So we have several kind of accessories ranging from connection accessories, internal accessories, external accessories, and also installation accessories. We will then discuss the energy system, which is a complete ecosystem that we have in this product range. It's a very exciting and new, unique proposition from Hegel Group. And finally, we will discuss the unique selling points at a glance. So let's begin with smart protection devices and how they are supporting energy efficiency applications on a day-to-day -day basis. In today's world of growing populations and industrializing economies, electrical energy is more and more demanding and essential. So there's a huge demand for electrical energy. And with this break, high demand, we also need energy efficiency. There are several international norms, such as the IEC 60364 standard, that have laid the foundation to utilizing electrical energy in the best possible and most efficient manner. So there is a need for an energy efficiency technique that offers feedback and measurement of all your sources of energy consumption, patterns, trends in order to improve energy performance and benefit from cost savings. So what's important is measurement. What cannot be measured, you cannot save. So the first step in energy efficiency is measurement. For this, we introduce the new generation of molded case circuit breakers called HQ+, which ensures reliable protection against overloads and short circuits combined with accurate integrated energy monitoring for all your low voltage distribution systems. So let's discuss the benefits. So if you're a developer and end user, the MCCBs have been developed considering the market needs and the future trends that we see today in the electrical sector. Live energy monitoring which is an inbuilt function of the MCCB, allows users to monitor consumption 
and identify saving opportunities. So any opportunity where you can save energy, you can easily take decision on that. You can access accurate data anywhere and anytime with the vast communication system options that are available on the product. And of course, the product is of premium quality and design with manufacturing in Europe. All this results in energy efficiency and a peace of mind for the developers. If you are a consultant, the MCCBs have been designed to comply to the highest specifications that are available in the market today. You have the service break capacity ICS equal to the ultimate break capacity ICU as a standard across the range. So whether you start from the small 25 kilo ampere or you go to the maximum 70 kilo ampere, the ICS is 100% ICU. So what is the benefit of having this 100%? So it shows that the MCCB can break the maximum short circuit fault current three times without undergoing any damage. It just shows how robust the product is. The nominal current rating, it's calibrated at 50 degrees ambient temperature. So we see this a lot in installations. When the temperature increases, there is a derating automatically on the nominal current which leads to tripping of the breaker. There is no fault. There's no short circuit. There's no overload. It's just the high temperature which leads to the tripping of the breakers. It's a nuisance tripping. All our MCCBs are calibrated at 50 degrees ambient temperature. So there is absolutely no delay. And of course, it's type tested as per the latest IEC 60947 standards. All this results in high specifications for the product and a complete type tested solution offer for your projects. Now, if you're a contractor, of course, it's very important. The installation and the ease of installation of the product is taken into consideration. Easy and simple configuration of the protection parameters on all tripping units. So all the settings are easily accessible from the front of the product using rotary dials. So very easily you can make the settings. There's a very unique integrated padlocking facility that is available in the toggle. You don't need to install any separate accessory to lock the MCCB, either in on or off position. At any point of time, you can go and you can lock the MCCB. It's a facility which we provide in all our HQ plus MCCBs. All our MCCBs up to 160 ampere are delivered as standard with what we call as collar terminals. So these collar terminals are compatible for bare cables, cables with lugs and straight bus bars. So you can directly terminate them without the need of any lugs and also without making any knockouts on the bus bars. You can directly terminate them on the MCCBs. It's available as an accessory for breakers up to 250 amperes. All this results in quick commissioning and a fast and secure connection in your project. Now, if you're a panel builder, of course, special attention has been given to the ergonomics in order to facilitate the integration of these MCCBs into your panels. We have different mounting methods, horizontal or vertical. It doesn't affect the performance of the product. You can also do normal and reverse feeding. So you can have your incomers either at the bottom or at the top. It will not affect the performance of the product. A very nice feature that we have is a fast opening quarter turn single screw that is available, which opens the secondary cover. And once you open the secondary cover, you don't access any life parts. And it's very ease of installation of the ac internal accessories. All the accessories, whether they're internal or external, are designed to be mounted and dismounted with very ease. 
All this results in easy panel mounting and of course time saving for the panel builders. So those were some of the benefits depending upon the customer segments. Let's discuss the range that we have today in the HQ Plus. The product comes in three frame sizes, P160, P250, and P630. So there are three frame sizes. There are four braking capacities, ICU levels. We start from 25, 40, 50, and we go up to 70 kilo ampere. And as I mentioned earlier, the entire range is 100% ICS. There are three protection relays, the traditional thermal magnetic. We of course have the electronic versions and a very unique advanced electronic version, which we call as the energy version. The energy version is with an embedded display for general settings and measurement. This is a very nice, unique product which I will explain in detail in the upcoming slides. So let's discuss the different versions that are available in the product. So when we talk about the smallest frame size, the P160. So 160 here denotes the maximum current rating that is available on this frame size. It's available in three pole and four pole. It starts from 25 amperes and it goes up to 160 amperes. In terms of braking capacity, we have 25, 40, and 50 kilo ampere. And of course, the ICS is identical with 25, 40, and 50 kilo ampere. We have the switch disconnector version, which is just an on off switch, complying as per the IC60947 3 standards. The traditional thermal magnetic comes in two versions. We have a TM version and a magnetic version. So the TM version is thermal and magnetic adjustable. And of course, as a magnetic version, which is used for motor protection mostly, where you only require magnetic protections. And of course, you see the electronic, we have wide range of rip units. We start with LSNI, LSI, LSIG, and energy. So the P160 is available in LSNI, where you don't have instantaneous protection. So you only have long-term protection against overloads and short-term protection for the low intensity short circuits. And the instantaneous is fixed with no adjustments. You have the LSI version, where the instantaneous is also adjustable. There is no LSIG version, but you have the energy version, which comes with the embedded display and it's an LSIG trip unit. So it has the ground fault inbuilt in the energy trip. When we discuss about the P250 frame size, so again here 250 denotes the maximum current rating which is available on the MCC. Again, it's available in three pole and four pole. We have starting currents from 40 amperes and we go up to 250 amperes. Braking capacities again are 25 kA, 40 kA, going up to 50 kA. The ICS is 100% the ICU. Again, we have the switch disconnector range, thermal magnetic versions in TM and magnetic. Electronic, we have the LSNI, LSI, there's an LSIG, and there's of course the energy version. And the bigger P630 frame size. So you see, we can go up to 630 ampere with this product range. Three pole and four pole again. 250 amperes is the minimum current rating which you can have in this frame size, goes up to 630 amperes. And here the braking capacities are 40 kilo ampere, 50 kilo ampere, and 70 kilo ampere. The P630 is not available in thermal magnetic versions. You only have the electronic versions with LSI, LSIG, and the energy versions. So with this, we have a complete portfolio complementing our existing MCCB range, which is consisting of the X160, the X250, the X630, the H1000, and the H1600. So this is the complete portfolio of MCCBs from the Hager Group. So we start from a small 16 ampere MCCBs all the way up to 1600 amps MCCB. So no matter what your application, what your project, we have a solution to provide. 
Let's discuss a little bit more in detail the technical characteristics of this product. So here we have the uh, technical characteristics of the P160, but E250 and the P630. So as I mentioned earlier, they are all available in three pole and four pole versions. The rated currents are all calibrated at 50 degrees. I already mentioned to you the range. We have the operational voltage, which is starting from 220, going all the way up to 690 volts. 50, 60 Hertz compatible. You have the insulation voltage, which is 800 volts. And of course the impulse is 8 kV. The operating temperature can go up to 70 degrees, but of course, once you go above 50 degrees, there will be certain rating. And what's interesting are the terminations. So you see the P160 comes with a pitch of 30 mm and a terminal width of 21 mm. So a bus bar of 20 by 5 can easily be terminated in the P160 frame size. A P250 frame size comes with a pole pitch of 35 mm and a terminal width of 25. So generally 250 amps you use a 20 by 10 bus bar, which again can be easily terminated. And when you see the bigger frame size, the P630, we have a pole pitch of 45 mm and a terminal width of 32 mm. So again, a 30 by 10, two runs easily can be fitted inside the MCCB. So let's discuss about the thermal magnetic trip units. So this is available in the P160 and the P250 frame sizes. Of course, we have the three pole and the four pole versions. In the four pole versions, the neutral is adjustable. So we can either adjust at zero, 50 or 100%. So the nominal current rating is from 25 amperes, mm -hmm. goes up to 250 amperes, it's calibrated at 50 degrees centigrade. And the thermal adjustment is from 0 0.63, 0 0.8 to one. So for example, if you have a 100 ampere breaker, you can set it to 63 ampere, 80 ampere or 100 ampere. You also have the magnetic setting from six to 13 times of your nominal current. Of course, there's no time adjustments. It's fixed because it's a thermal magnetic version. The electronic versions, which I explained earlier, we have the LSNI, the LSI, the LSIG and the energy version. So you get faster response with the electronic breakers. You have also the possibility of fine tuning the protection settings. So we have minute adjustments which you can make. And we also have the possibility and flexibility to ensure total discrimination when you use the electronic MCCBs in the upstream. All the settings are done using rotary dials, which you see on the trip units. Of course, you see all the trip units also come with LEDs, which I will discuss in detail. These are the settings which you will find on the LSI trip unit. So I will discuss with you the thermal setting that we have. So you can adjust it from 40% to 100%. So again, if I take an example of a 100 ampere breaker, you can go up to 40%. So it can become 40 ampere in case of an electronic MCCB. Also, you have the possibility to adjust the short circuit. So the IM and also the instantaneous settings. When we talk about the energy version, so this is the product which comes with the embedded display, which gives you measurement of all your values of current, voltage, frequency, power, energy and harmonics. All this is possible using the energy version of the product. It has class one accuracy as per IEC 61557. Little bit on the LEDs, which you see on the electronic MCCBs. So there are four LEDs. There's a temperature LED. There is a overload LED a pre-trip alarm LED, which denotes as 90% of your IR, and there is a ready LED. So let's see what happens in case of a high temperature. So there's an alarm indication 
and the LED becomes red color when the temperature of the internal trip unit exceeds 105 degrees centigrade. The overload LED is generally blank, it's off, but it starts blinking when the current exceeds 105% of your thermal current. It starts blinking and it becomes a solid red when the current exceeds 112% of your thermal setting and the breaker trips. Your pre-trip alarm is generally again off in normal operation. It becomes a yellow color when the current reaches 90% of your thermal setting. And finally, the ready LED, it's again off when the MCCD is off, it doesn't have any power. It becomes a solid green color when it is in normal operation and it becomes a blinking yellow when there is an internal trip unit fault. So these are the different colors that you will see on the LEDs which you find on the electronic MCCDs. So let's discuss the accessories which you have on the product. So of course we have several accessories. So let's discuss the external accessories first. So we have the residual current device which detects earth leakage. This is generally fitted below the MCCB and any earth leakage will immediately trip the MCCB. You also have the option of using the Shuntrip ELR and toroid with our product. There is a direct rotary handle which is fitted directly on the MCCB. So it comes pre-assembled, so it's very easy to install. You just have to remove the secondary cover of the MCCB and install this directly on top of the MCCB. We also have the extended rotary handle, which comes in IP ratings of up to IP65. Motor operator is also available. It starts from the P250 frame size for the motor applications. And it comes in different voltage options. Either you can have in DC or in AC. A mechanical interlock is also available. We have two versions, a link interlock or cable interlock. So depending upon your design on the size of the panel that you have, you can choose either the link or the cable interlock. The advantage of the cable interlock is that it can be mixed between different frame sizes. So if you have a 160 ampere and a 630 ampere and you want to interlock both of these MCBs, you can do them using the cable interlock option. But for the link interlock, both the MCBs need to be from the same frame size. Connection accessories. So we have phase barriers, which act as a barrier between the different phases. Terminal shields, which are very important when you install the cables and the bus bar. We also have straight connection and spreader terminals. If you have bigger size cables, which are not fitting into, into our terminals, you can use these accessories. Also rear terminals, if you want to have rear access to the MCCBs, and also collar terminals as an option for P250 frame size. The collar terminals come as standard in the 160 frame size, wherein you can terminate bare cables without any lugs also. Different installation accessories. So we can also fit the MCCB on a DIN rail. So we have the P160, which can be fitted on a DIN rail. It has this accessory, which is fitted on the back, and you can easily fix it on a DIN rail. You also have the option of the plug-in. So the P160, the P250, and the P630 can be converted into plug-in breakers for easy and quick maintenance. If there is a need for a withdrawable or dropped option, it's also available in the P250 and the P630 frame sizes. Internal accessories. So these accessories are fixed inside the MCCBs. So when you open the quarter turn screw, you can install these accessories just by a clip on. So there is no tools required. You can just clip these accessories inside. So we of course have the shunt trip, the under voltage, the auxiliary contact and alarm contact. And depending upon the frame size, you can install that many number of 
accessories inside. For example, the small P160, you can have one auxiliary contact, one alarm contact, and one under voltage or one shunter. But if you go to the bigger P630 frame size, you can have up to four auxiliary contacts, two alarm contacts, and also you can install either one shunt or one under voltage. So let's discuss the energy system that we have in the range. It's a complete ecosystem. It's composed by the embedded display that we have on the product, the panel display, a communication module, and a configuration tool to ensure the protection of the electrical distribution and offer advanced functionalities such as remote protection, alarm management, integrated optional alarm contacts, pre-trip alarm contacts, log events, history, communication interface for mode bus communication. It's also fully integrated into our Agadio manager, which is our energy supervision software that we have. So let me discuss the embedded display. So it's an OLED technology, which gives you very good comfort, visibility, readability, whatever the ambient light. And what is the benefit is that it can be rotated. So depending upon the mounting of your MCCP, either it's horizontal or vertical, you can change the orientation of the display. And in normal operation, it will also indicate to you your favorite settings that you want to view. So you want to only see the uh, current, for example. So you can put the current and it just keeps uh, showing the live current consumptions. Or if you want to see the power, so it will show you the power consumptions. So it keeps changing and giving you live data uh, content. How do you power on this display? It's self-powered. So when you connect uh, power and the cables and you turn on the MCCB, it display automatically comes on. You can also install an external power, a 24 volt DC supply. So in case of a fault, when there is no supply, this external source will give power to this display and you can view all the events, the history, the faults, everything can be viewed using this external power. We have a panel mounted display. So sometimes there's a requirement that, you know, I want to see the measurement, but I don't want to see it on the MCCP. I don't want to open the panel door. I want to see it externally. So we have a panel mounted display, which can be installed on the doors of the MCCP. So all the connections are done using just one cable that we call as CIP cables, CIP adapter cables. There are ports which are fixed inside the MCCB. So just one single cable, you connect it to the uh, external display and it gives you all the measurements that the MCCB is monitoring. So current, power, harmonics, whatever you name it, everything is on the external display. So of course the benefits are you don't need to open the enclosure to see the embedded display. It's also secure with the password. You have full access to the protection settings. So you want to change the settings of the MCCB. You don't need to open the panel door and adjust. You can make all the settings on the panel mounted display. You can also set some alarms and you can get some events on the panel mounted display. We have a communication module also which allows the MCCB to be on a mode bus network. So this gives you a good idea and picture of how the connections are made. It's just single CIP adapter cables that we have. So one single cable from the MCCB to the COM module. Of course, the COM module needs a power supply, external power supply. And this COM module can be connected to additional COM modules from additional MCCBs using a daisy chain. And it can be connected to our Agadio manager for energy supervision. So we have a complete system where you can monitor your live energy consumptions. This COM module can be either installed on a DIN rail or it can be connected and installed next to the MCCB itself. We have two versions, one with and one without input and output contacts. So what are input and output contacts? So for example, there are two input contacts and two output contacts. So the input contacts can be used for say uh, alarms, uh, pre-trip alarms, faults, 
and output contacts can be used for controlling the MCCBs using a motor. So if you want remote control of the MCCBs, so from an electrical room, you can control the on and off of the MCCB using this COM module. And finally, the configuration tool. So the configuration tool is a very nice additional product that we have. It gives you full diagnostic and settings of the MCCB. So it's connected to the connector that we have on the MCCB directly connected. It powers up the display also. And you don't need to install any software or any application on your smart device like an iPad, tablet, laptop, no software required. It's web-based. So you just enter the IP address of the configuration tool and you're directly inside the MCCB. So you can monitor the status of the MCCB. You can check whether it is on, off, fault. You can check the measurements, how much is the current consumption, how much is the power consumption. Everything can be measured remotely. You can also test the MCCB. You can do a remote test. You can check the tripping curve, the time, Everything is possible using the configuration tool. Of course, alarm management, there is a history, event logs, everything is recorded. And there's a dashboard, which gives you number of operations, trip units, the events, everything is possible using the configuration tool. This again gives you an internal view of the MCCB. So as I mentioned, we have the pre-trip alarm contacts which come with the electronic MCCBs, an optional alarm contact, which is programmable as per your requirement, and zone selectivity interlocking. So if you have multiple MCCBs, using zone interlocking, we can ensure total discrimination. So all the MCCBs talk to each other, and the MCCB closest to the fault will trip first, thereby ensuring discrimination. So this is an additional feature that we have on the electronic MCCBs. Let's just summarize and discuss the unique selling points at a glance. So let me begin with the top left corner. We have the auxiliary indication window. So whenever you install an accessory inside, like a shunter, an auxiliary contact, an alarm contact, you can easily see from the outside whether it's installed or not installed. The fast opening quarter turn screw. Only a single screw opens the secondary cover. Thereby you can access all your accessories inside and it's completely safe with double isolation. The integrated padlocking facilities. So you can install a padlock up to 4 mm directly onto the handle. If you have bigger size padlocks, also, it can be installed. We have an accessory. It's like a metal strip. You just put the metal strip inside the uh, padlocking facility, and you can put bigger size padlocks also. The optional alarm contacts, which are programmable. So depending, you want to get um, an alarm contact for uh, overload or short circuit or ground fault, you can program it. So depending on whatever fault you want information, you will get an alarm. The high contrast display, which is embedded and which can be rotated 360 degrees. The configuration tool, which allows you to control and monitor the MCCB remotely. And of course, the additional pre-trip alarm contacts, which you find on the electronic MCCBs. So these are the unique selling points that we have on the MCCB. We will now take the questions and try to answer as many as possible.
Hello, Asad. Can you see the questions? Uh, no, but I cannot. I can uh, not see the questions. Is it available now? Not yet. Great, now I see the questions. So the first question is, can we do settings online uh, by change the tripping tools? So uh, in terms of the settings, we have the configuration tool. Yes, you can make the settings online. Uh, so we have an IP address for the configuration tool. Once you access the IP address, you are basically inside the MCCV. So you can make all the protection settings, you can see the measurement, everything is possible. Uh, second question, there is no P400 MCCB. So uh, the 400, uh, there's no P400 frame size. So what we have is a P630 frame size and there is a 400 amps MCCB inside the frame size. So whether it is a 400 ampere or a 630 ampere MCCB, it's the same frame size, but we have a 400 ampere rating available. Will this be available on HagerCAD? Yes, for sure. Uh, we generally update the databases that we have available on the on our softwares. And uh, I will just need to check if the database is updated and it's already been included, but for sure it should it will be included if not yet. So zone selectivity is basically uh, between the electronic MC. Okay, I, I, let me read the question. What can you say about zone selectivity? So basically zone selectivity is uh, done for the electronic MCCBs, wherein if you have multiple MCCBs uh, in your upstream and downstream, and maybe again one more level down. So using the zone selectivity, just a single cable, you connect all the MCCBs, and they're basically communicating with each other. So um, the breaker, which is the closest to the fault, will trip first. Uh, it will sense the it will sense the fault and it communicates with all the MCCBs that I have seen a fault and then I'm going to trip so you don't trip. So the upstream breakers don't trip and the downstream breaker trips. So hereby we get a discrimination when we use zone selectivity. I hope it was clear. Uh, the next question is in LSI setting, do S and I are dependent on fault current or it's based on the breaker rating? Uh, it depends. Uh, it depends on the current rating. For example, uh, all the settings are based on your normal current rating. So your IN. So if you take a 100 ampere breaker, so the settings are based on the normal current rating. So the next question is, uh, what device is used to interface the MCCB? Uh, I'm not sure, uh, interface the MCCB. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure, Mr. Khan, if you could just uh, rephrase it. Uh, in other makes, P400 and P630 size differs due to current carrying capacity, but how it's serving acre? So, uh, in terms of competition, uh, I think generally the 400 ampere and 630 ampere come with the same frame size, but uh, uh, in Hager, for sure, with the 400 ampere and the 630 ampere are the same frame size. Because in terms of also the uh, connection, I can also talk about the connection. Generally, for a 400 amps uh, breaker, you would use a 30 by 10 uh, single run uh, bus bar. Uh, whereas in a 630 amps, you would use a 30 by 10 two runs. So in terms of the uh, terminal width, uh, you cannot have a very small terminal width for the uh, 400 amps breaker. I hope that was clear. Uh, next question.
Sorry, my question is on ACBs. Why is it in South Africa, electromechanical catalog, we do not have 110 volt closing and opening coils? 110 volt. Um, I could check this. I am uh, not 100% sure because I know that for the ACBs, we have a very wide uh, range of uh, uh, voltages available. I just need to check exactly which range of ACB you are talking about here, and then we could uh, uh, we, we could get back to you, Mr. Oswell, exactly uh, which range and which uh, uh, product you're talking about. We will get back to you. It will have issues with the utility companies. Uh, is this regarding the uh, frame size question? Yeah, so this is regarding the frame size question. Uh, it will have issues with utility companies. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how you will have an issue because today in Hager also the product which we supply, uh, the 400 ampere and the 630 ampere are of the same size and we've been selling this product for over uh, 20 years here in the Middle East and I don't think we've faced any issues with utilities. So if you could just maybe uh, clarify what issues, uh, then maybe we could try to uh, answer that. Please contact Mr. Crystal, definitely. Uh, regarding the 110 volts, so I will make a note of this. And we will definitely get back to you regarding the 110 volts for the ACBs. Okay, next question. I think I said um, we have no more questions. Just uh, related to South Africa, Mr. Christou is a PM in uh, at Electromechanica, our partner in South Africa. So uh, please uh, refer to him, and he's give he will give you all of the explanation related uh, to the South Africa catalog. Sure. Great. Um, then. It was, uh, apart from, from that, it was really, really nice and informative webinar. Thank you so much, Asad. Uh, mm -hmm. And I hope everyone appreciate the webinar, the content and everything. Please uh, just take one minute right after the webinar and take part from our, with our survey, just to give us uh, the opportunity to improve the content and your webinar experience. And feel free to uh, follow up the next webinars for July. We will have a new um, topics and uh, new webinars for uh, July schedule. So follow, follow us uh, on LinkedIn, uh, Hager Middle East page and our websites. Thank you so much. Thank you, Asad. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.